A second quarter earnings per share, $1.74, two cents ahead of estimates. It looks like revenue is actually a bit short of estimates at $13.23 billion, $13.3 billion. So you could call that in line. Daily active users also a little bit shy, $1.47 billion. The estimate was $1.48 billion. And monthly active users, $2.23 billion. The estimate there, two and a quarter billion. So actually a little bit of a miss on the Guys, user side. The, uh, the stock's down 7%. So there's a rare reaction. Mm. As you say, a little bit of a miss. Uh, but, you know, there's so much expectations. Numbers are amazing overall for That's a company right. this the, side. But look at that the reaction. The stock closed at a record and, and today. You have to look at Instagram, too, which is the, the sleeping mm. giant inside of Facebook. They bought it for a billion dollars, and it, it's going to make twice that this quarter. That's well, a huge a drop. Look, the stock is user. down 19 <laughs> points. I mean, that's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. But also, as Julie pointed out, it's at a record high. It's gained some 22% it, so far this year. It's recovered completely from the March sell-off. Uh, you know, back in May, it already made up that lost ground. When you talk about Instagram, I just did a quick search for Instagram in this uh, earnings release. No mention it nope. of it whatsoever. They don't break That's it right. out. They don't, they don't break, break it, out. it out. When would they break it out? Are they going to be required to break it out at some point? I, I think at, at one point, and it's not that far off in the future, there's a possibility that, that Instagram gets spun out as a separate company. Because really? It has the chance of becoming a much bigger entity, actually, than Facebook itself. Facebook uh, briefly touching a 10% decline, also seeing t shares of Twitter and Snap decline in sympathy. You know, look, the numbers are stellar, but at, at, the key is at any level up here, slight misses matter. So daily active users, 1.47 billion, a hair behind estimates. But right. you see how much this stock had been priced for perfection. I, I am curious, though, when you look at these user numbers a little bit below estimates, David, is it because of the bad publicity? Is that actually taking a toll? I doubt it, to be honest. I think, you know, security analysts aren't really experts at figuring out user numbers. They're, they're financial people. I, I'm, I would say... A little say shade there, David. I, the problem is <laughs> that this was a nosebleed-level stock that had gone up way too much. I mean, I have been feeling that the issues surrounding Facebook's political, cultural, privacy issues inevitably are going to cost money to resolve and at some point it will affect the stock now i don't know exactly what would lead people to bid it up to whatever it was 200 215 or 17 217 yeah. Yeah. and now it's at what is it 188 but it's it, it's not any fundamental problem with people wanting to use facebook if that's what you're asking Al not although even close. david you you would know this better than i but the the Teens and preteens are gravitating very rapidly to Instagram and away from Facebook. And Snap, yeah. And and that's a big problem because they're the next generation of the two and a half billion daily users. It would be a big well, problem if they didn't own Instagram. Exactly. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which, and the funny thing is a lot of people don't even realize that Instagram is owned by Facebook.